Okay, this next video, along with all the rest, I didn't have when I was a kid. These I collected later on. Donkey Kong Country Exposed was the only one that I actually had in my collection as a kid. But this next one, called The Invasion of Nintendo, was uh, published in 1995, and I believe it's going to showcase several upcoming games for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. We have nothing on the side here, just kind of a brushed steel look and a keyhole. And you can see that this one was distributed by Nintendo Power. And it says, Brought to you by Nintendo Power. This fast-paced adventure finds you face-to-face -face with actual game developers who are not willing to talk, but wait do you see how we get them to cough it up. Watch and listen, because you're about to discover more about Yoshi's Island, Killer Instinct, and Donkey Kong Country 2 than you ever thought possible. And you'll get the inside story on upcoming games like Mario RPG and Ken Griffey Jr. Baseball 2, too. As well as a glimpse of the Shoshinkai show in Japan and the new NU64. Now, close the blinds, shut the door, and don't answer the phone. You're about to invade Nintendo. For more information about Nintendo Power Magazine, call 800-255-3700. Kind of interesting how they're calling the N64 NU64, or Nintendo Ultra 64. That's before they decided to have a uniform name across all regions for the Nintendo 64. But, here we go. Let's invade Nintendo. Welcome, gentlemen. Your assignment is simple. Infiltrate Nintendo's secret research and development laboratories and bring back some critical information. This, of course, won't be easy. That's why I'm in this box, and you will face the danger. We're looking for information on Yoshi's Island, Killer Instinct, and Donkey Kong Country 2. If you fail, I assure you it won't be a pretty sight. I will be forced to remove a vital appendage. <laughs> Here's the deal, Jake. Mm -hmm. Baby Mario's lost, okay? And you have to rescue him and return him to his parents in the Mushroom Kingdom. Well, who am I? You're Yoshi. This is Yoshi's Island. <laughs> Greetings, Henry. We understand Yoshi's Island is your game. Yoshi's Island? Is there an echo in here? Yes, Yoshi's Island. Henry, do you really need those thumbs? Okay, all right, all right, all right. Yoshi has an extremely helpful pound-the-ground technique. By jumping in the air and pulling down on the control pad, Yoshi will rocket down to the ground. This will push most posts into the ground. By doing this, you can uncover hidden coins and find invisible clouds. Of course, this technique is the key to defeating the mini-boss of World 4, March of Mildy. And if you're going to miss a jump, you may want to rocket to the ground with this technique and just catch the edge of a platform and be safe. More! If Yoshi can reach the goal of a level with 30 stars, 20 coins, and 5 flowers, he will achieve a 100% on that level. If you can get a 100% score on each area in an entire world, this will open a bonus game and a secret hidden level. The bonus game can be played over and over in World 1, and you can collect tons of various items that will help you on your quest and make the game a lot easier from that point on. You call that a tip? We. Need. More! Ha! Huh, I don't think so! Gentlemen, Code 5. Procedure 7. <laughs> okay, 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 so... <laughs> I'll tell you everything I know. One of the toughest hidden areas to find in Yoshi's Island is in World 1. In Area 1-7, on the last screen with the goal, there is a stump in the middle of the screen. If Yoshi stands on the edge and jumps up the top of the screen, it will knock down a bounce bubble. Yoshi can then bounce up to a secret hidden area this hidden area is the only way Yoshi can get 100%. Thank you, Henry. You've been very cooperative. 
You know, next time we won't be so nice. We'll rip every hair off your... Remain seated, please. When battling Jago, a wind kick will most likely result in dislocation of the mandible lacrimal plate, as well as the zygomatic and consequently the intermaxillary suture. This can occur in either the tournament mode or random select mode, but not in the practice mode. I suggest practice mode. So who are you guys? It's no concern of yours, Mr. Lobb. Being one of the minds behind Killer Instinct, we need you to reveal your techniques, as we fully intend to win the next tournament. Yeah, right. Why should I tell you? Gentlemen? Mom? There he is, Mr. Game Player. We didn't bring you up to play games all day. We had big plans for you. You were going to go to Harvard. Now you're in Redmond. <laughs> Look at you. Your sister's a doctor, your brother's a banker. And what are you? A gamer. You weren't always like this. But now look at you. Combo slappies. Where did we go wrong? Okay, okay, I'll talk, I'll talk. Okay, so you want to learn how to win. The first thing I'm going to tell you about is slappy combos. Slappy combos are cool because most combos in Killer Instinct, you start out with like open, auto, maybe link or auto, and then a combo finisher. People become very used to seeing that pattern. Slappy combo, you start with like a medium or fierce, and then you two in one by releasing the special move off of that medium fierce. Then you can end with an end finisher. You end up throwing off the competition. A good example would be like Riptor. Do like a duck fierce punch into a fierce dash, then end with maybe his weak punch end finisher. That'll take him by surprise. I am Spider, and with my foot slide, ksh, I will destroy, ksh, ksh, destroy, ksh, 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 destroy, ksh, ksh. Dr. Forrest, now I will cremate your remains with my searing skull. Are you holding back on us, Mr. Lob? Hmm? So you want combos? How about I give you the super taco double humongous burrito combo? Not likely. And these are some cute pictures we took while Kenny was being potty trained. Look at his cute little toys. <laughs> Another good thing you can do in Killer Instinct is really wire the combo breakers. You know, a lot of people think they know combo breakers. Nobody knows combo breakers. If you know combo breakers, no one's going to touch you because anything they do, pow, you combo break them. More. So the idea is most people are going to play this open auto finish game. So if you know the combo that's starting from the open, if you know the auto double, it's very easy to break. So all you do is, example, let's take Chief Thunder. Chief Thunder's coming at me with a fierce spin axe. I know he only has two choices. He can auto double on medium punch or he can auto double on fierce kick. So I don't have to worry about breaking weak. Now I have 50% chance of breaking the bump. See the first frame of the auto double? Pow! Break him. Not a problem. Always remember also that if they're doing a fierce, you break with medium. If they're doing a medium, you break with weak. If they're doing a weak, you break with fierce. More. Now you think that you know what you're doing because you have combo breakers wired. Ha! I do only unbreakable combos. I'm going to lay some combos at you that you just plain can't break. A good way to do unbreakable combos is to start out with a slappy. You know, so you slap him, say, with, let's go back to Ripador again. He's going to slap you this time with a medium punch, and he's going to go straight to the medium dash. And let's pick something that can't be broken. Like, I'll go for a flame, and then a slap. And then the slap knocks you up in the air, and then I can hit you with a juggle. I've just hit you with six hits that you cannot break. Thanks. Your mother should be very proud. Jago rules. Reptile rules. Jago rules. Jago sucks big time. You suck. Welcome to the biggest show on earth. Hurry, 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 ladies and gentlemen and children. I'm your green master, and I promise you the greatest time of your life. How did you guys get in here? That's not important. What is important is what you know about Donkey Kong Country 2. I'm not telling you Jack. You can kill me and I still wouldn't talk. Thank you for that option. But my associates and I would prefer to send you on a long vacation. Oh yeah? Go ahead. Nothing's gonna make me talk. Not even these three suits. <laughs> Gentlemen. <laughs> Have a seat. 
there are several hooks, barrels, and other items that are invisible throughout the game. To find them, look for single bananas sitting by themselves. Personally, I think Dixie Kong is the coolest, and I happen to think that her helicopter hair spin is the most awesome move in her arsenal. Some hidden tricks can only be found with the help of your animal friends. For example, in the area of Pirate Panic, look for a single banana sitting by itself. You can use your friend Rambi to bash into the wall and find a hidden bonus level. How about a hot tip? Hmm? Sure, why not? In the first two areas of the game, there are shortcut barrels that take you directly to the end of the level. Finding them will make blazing through the first part of the game a cinch. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh yes, there's definitely more. Let's check out some upcoming games from Nintendo. And now with 32 megs of rendered graphics and stunning 3D scenes and three-quarter perspectives, by Mario RPG is one of the most advanced video games ever conceived. I can't wait to see a Goomba in ACM. Well, you know Square developed it. Oh, they're the best. They did Final Fantasy, so you know Mario RPG isn't going to suck. This is excellent, gentlemen. Mario's first RPG. He's totally 3D. I could play this for hours. And check out these characters. I've never seen some of these guys before. I'm thinking of getting a tattoo of Luigi on my left butt cheek. Whoa, they move in every direction. Look at those graphics. I'm so thrilled, <laughs> I think I might spare your lives. Oh, oh. Lots of people tell me I remind them of the kid. I don't know what's so special about him. I hit 65 home runs in 94. Fly ball. Finally, exciting baseball I can control. Nintendo's new Major League Baseball presents Ken Griffey Jr.'s winning run. Whew, that was a mouthful. There's tons of play modes. I can play a full season, a World Series, an All-Star game. I can play anything I want. My glove is like a magnet to the ball. Griffey makes it look a lot harder than it is. This game gives me stats up the wazoo. And if I don't like how these players are performing, I can trade them, set my own lineups, even do two-player head-to-head action. My favorite. And no one, absolutely no one's going on strike. I'll be there one day. Yep, I'm going to the show. And I'll have my own video game. Super NES Baseball, starring Rodney Kageyama. <sighs> You've done an exemplary job, gentlemen. Now, your next assignment won't be so easy. It's information no one, absolutely no one, has. It's a smuggled video from the Shoshenkai show in Japan. Get it, and don't let it out of your sight. Get it. Finally, the Shoshinkai show. This NU64 better be hot. Got those tickets? I thought you had them. You're supposed to have them. Oh, we're gonna get busted, dude. No, you're not. Just be smooth, relax. Just walk around. Don't look at anybody. Just be real calm. He's looking. He's looking. We belong here. We belong look the here. other way. Look the other way. We belong here. Hey, she's picking her nose. Uh oh. I think she's got a gun. I think she's got a gun. Let's uh -oh. go. She's packing heat. Let's man. go. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's see if this guy has the NU64 tape. Oh, I don't have a video tape. Who are we? The college boy, you got the tape? I'd like to tell you where the secret videotape is, but Mario would be really upset. 
He asked Mr. Big over there, the big man. I don't have the videotape. Please, just go away. I don't have the videotape. It's not here. It's not on me. Nowhere. Uh, nowhere. God. You'll have to wait. Hey, you want the tape? Go over there. Make a left. Then make a right. Then make another left. Then go down. Plus the fire on the wall. And behind curtain number two, the tape. Showtime! We got the tape. Let's get out of here. You got the keys? You have the keys. Ugh. Thank you, gentlemen, for a successful mission. We have all we need. We're out of here. We're dust, vapor, a memory, history. We're out. Gone. Adios. Later. Later.